Let's find the mass of one atom of argon, that's AR. And really all we're gonna do is we're gonna find the molar mass of the substance. In this case, it's the atomic mass because we're dealing with an atom. That's right here, the average atomic mass. And we divide that by Avogadro's number. That gives us the mass of one atom of argon. And this is an average atom of argon because this is the average atomic mass. So let's give it a try. We can think of this average atomic mass here as having the units of grams per mole. So we have 39.95 grams in one mole of argon. And we'll multiply this by a conversion factor because we know that one mole of argon, one mole of anything, is gonna be Avogadro's number of particles. So when we do the math, moles on bottom and top cancel out, that leaves us with grams. But really what we're doing is we're taking this average atomic mass here and dividing it by Avogadro's number. But doing it this way is a good way to make sure you have the right units. So we do the math, we get 6.64 times 10 to the negative 23rd, and the units are grams. If you wanted this in kilograms, just divide this by a thousand, you'd end up with 6.64 times 10 to the negative 26. This number makes sense because atoms are really small, so it should be a really small number. Finally, if we wanted to know the mass of an isotope of argon, say we had argon 36, if we wanted to find the mass of one atom of argon 36 here, we would take this mass number here and put it into this instead of the average atomic mass. So we take the mass number for the specific isotope and that would give us the mass of one atom of argon 36. This is Dr. B with the mass of one atom of argon, AR. Thanks for watching.